What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a very special edition of the MDT Battle Royal. It returns today, man, and it is no regular edition, man. Today, we have the horror action figure MDT Battle Royal to celebrate Halloween and to celebrate the month of October here on the channel, man. This used to be a monthly staple on the channel, and I'm going to try and get back to that once we have the office fully established and all those different things, get the arena set back up and all those things. Something that I really look forward to doing. However, man, today, we are back better than ever, and we have a bunch of new friends faces in the MDT Battle Royal. Tons of new horror characters represented right here. I'm really excited to get into it with you. I'm going to showcase the field, let you guys know who's all participating. And of course, we do have the prize for the MDT Battle Royal this year. We have the MDT Tournament of the Damn Trophy. Now, I really did want to continue the tournament this year, but I was unable to, again, without my office setup, man. It has been a real nightmare trying to get some of this stuff out, especially on a timely fashion. But today, man, we're back with the MDT Battle Royal. I'm excited we're here in the kitchen area because I had no room in my office at the time of recording this. So, we're going to dive into this, man. Let's get into the field represented, and then we will proceed with the Battle Royal, break down the rules, and crown a champion of the MDT Battle Royal Halloween Horror Edition for this year of 2023. Alright, man, so breaking down our field up first, we do have the OG Pennywise. Right here, we do have Ghostface from Scream, or the Scream franchise, of course. We do have Valak, or the Nun, right there, which is an iconic character in itself. Next up, we do have Jason Voorhees right here, longtime champion of the channel. Up next, we do have Chucky, and and to finish off our front row, we do have the Michael Myers competing here today. On our next row, we do have Sam from Trick or Treat. We have the Candyman. We have Leatherface. We have Freddy Krueger without his hat. I don't know how he's going to compete today without his hat on, but we will have to see how that progresses. We got Pinhead from Hellraiser. We got Victor Crowley in this mug. We got the Creep. We got Frankenstein all chained up. You know, I still couldn't let the monster loose here in the monster, you know, in this battle royal. I mean, we, we got to be safe, you know. We have the Miner from My Bloody Valentine. We have the Bride of Frankenstein over here. We have the 2017 rendition of Pennywise. We got everybody's favorite, the Crooked Man. Dr. Loomis looks freaked out of his mind. Look at him. I mean, he looks terrified. I would be too if I was dead there in the center. We got the Bride of Chucky, Tiffany. We have the Ultimate Fiend from the Misfits. And then we do have some wrestling represented here. Now, being that my office is a mess, again, I could not get together every single horror-themed WWE wrestler or action figure. But we do have the Icon Sting. Rest in peace to the legend Bray Wyatt. We're paying tribute to him here today with Bray Wyatt and the Fiend represented in our Battle Royal. Rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. We have Little Sister from Bioshock. We have another doll represented. We have Annabelle. We have a version of Predator represented. A zombified Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mick Foley slash Mankind. This purple Undertaker. Kane. Gangrel, who we still need for Mattel, by the way. And Reagan from The Exorcist. All in all, man, that is our complete field of our horror action figure Battle Royal for the month of October and to celebrate Halloween, man. And with all those things being said, let's dive into the rules and then we'll dive into this Battle Royal. All right, man, so getting into our rules for our Battle Royal. Now, usually what we'll do is I'll get right here and I'll give it a full-fledged swipe like this. The guys will fly out of there. Now, in order to be eliminated, you have to A, two feet either have to hit the ground or you must fall off the countertop and land on the floor. So you fall off the countertop and land on the floor, you're automatically eliminated. I don't care if you're only standing on your pinky toe, Brad, you are eliminated. However, if you're on the countertop, you do have to have two feet that must hit the ground in order to be eliminated. However, we have spiced things up a little bit today and I'll get into that in just a moment, just in case you fall off of the countertop and we'll get into all those things as we progress here, but that's how you get eliminated. We're going to keep going and going and going until we are left with maybe a handful of people, and then we're probably going to put this thing in slow motion, and I'm going to dump them off of the countertop onto the floor, and whoever hits the floor last will be the champions, usually how we do it. Makes for great entertainment, and I like the stress. So nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and proceed with swipe one, but before we proceed with swipe one, I want to show you guys a little bonus activity. So if you are swiped and you get hit hella hard, now I do slap the hell out of these figures. If they fly across the countertop and fall off. A, you could be saved by the chair, so you may not fall on the floor right here. I do have tile flooring in my kitchen. It's just the opposite. It's connected to the living room. Get off my back. So if you fly off the countertop and land on the chair, if you land in this coffin that I have opened up right here, you're automatically moved on to the final round, whatever that is. Whether it's one person, two person, whatever the hell it is, you automatically make it to the final round if you land in the coffin. It could happen to three people. It could happen to nobody, but I wanted to put it in there just to have a little bonus Easter egg for some wild entertainment added into the Battle Royal. But if you land on the chair, you're just safe for another round. You didn't fall off, you're fine, you, you, you live to see another day. So that's kind of like a little wiggle room if you get boomed over here by the swipe. So let's shut the hell up and dive into this Battle Royal. All right, man, here we go with swipe number one. I have no expectations. The lighting in here is atrocious. I do apologize. Well, let's, uh, let's just get on with the swipe. 
I hit the god dang ring, man. Jesus Christ. I hit the ring. I told you I was rusty. All right, man, so I think we only had one victim that fell on the floor, and that's Ghostface. Ghostface fell off the front, man. He's gone. You hate to see it. Doesn't matter if it's a bad swipe. Let's get into the rest of these bodies. All right, so obviously all these guys right here are safe, so I'm not even going to waste my time. Just get these guys in the front, and then we can... We can mull through all the people that are eliminated, but let's get it over here, there, there. The All these people right here seem to be safe. Leatherface is safe. Candyman's safe. Ultimate Miner's safe. Crooked Man's safe. Bride of Frankenstein, up, up. All right, there, there needs to be some rules. I mean, this guy's back is flat, but his feet are straight up in the air. I guess he's safe. Pennywise safe. None safe. Alright, here's Michael Myers. I believe this should be safe because technically one foot hanging off, one foot on the ground, his feet are not touching. At least both of them. So, Michael Myers is moving on. Alright, getting over here, man. Predator clearly touching. Pennywise clearly touching over here. Looks like Austin is eliminated. Mankind eliminated. Kane eliminated. Reagan. Okay, Reagan's feet are impossible to touch, man. Her dress like that. I'm gonna pass it, but if she's just, like her feet are never Never gonna touch, man. If she's laying flat, so I don't know. I'll let her go another time, but that could get controversial. But Kane's gone, Gangrel's safe, and Undertaker's gone. Let's line them all up for round number two. All right, I'm gonna set all these hoes back up. We're gonna go for swipe number two. All right, man. In our first round, we did have seven eliminations, which isn't bad. I think we had 32 competitors, which narrows it down to 25 total combatants left. Plenty of great talent here, but Predator, Pennywise, Zombie, Stone Cold, Mankind, Kane, Undertaker, and Scream slash Ghostface have bit the dust here, man. Let's move on to swipe number. Two. All right, man, the goal for this one is to not swipe the ring and actually get a good swipe in on all the talent of the Battle Royal. So let's see how that goes. Now that is what we call a successful swipe, Brad. So for this one, we had, uh, I mean, we definitely had some guys fall off right here. What do we have? The Nun fell off. Sam and Chucky fell off. Michael fell off. Hold up a minute. All right, after further review, he did touch the floor. He did touch the floor after further review. You guys can see the right foot's up. If his left foot was off the ground, he'd have been fine. He'd have been fine, or I guess not because his face is hitting, but I'm just saying, if he would have landed on this bar, those two bars right there, and not touched the ground, he would absolutely be in, but he is eliminated. So is Annabelle, so is Little Sister, and then, uh, yeah, we had one, two, three, four, five, six guys hit the ground in just this round. That rhymed. Unintentional. Now, coming back to the front here, man. Again, Reagan is, her feet are not touching. And I'm pretty sure it's, like, physically impossible to happen. And I don't want to just keep letting her get away with this. So, I, I, I just, I don't know what to do about that situation. It's kind of tough. And we used to have a pants cuff rule. But she's kind of ineligible for the pants cuffs rule as well. And the pants cuffs rule, if you're a long-time member of the channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that is if, like, the bottom of your pants cuffs are touching. Because that prevents your feet from touching. If both of your pants cuffs were touching, you'd be eliminated. But I, I, I. I, I don't know, man. I don't like... Up next, we do have Ultimate Miner. He is safe right here. Frankenstein has bit the dust. Pennywise is safe. His feet are off the ground, and his pants cuff is actually off the ground. So he's completely safe. Frankenstein is gone. Victor Crowley's safe. Freddy Krueger's safe. Psych, I meant you're out. Fiend is in. Jason's in. Sting is... Oh, snap. Oh, my God. Is it... Okay, there is a gap. There is a gap over there. He's safe. Before Gangrel fell, he was out. Looks like Crooked Man's safe. Tiffany's safe. Loomis safe. Freak safe. Candyman safe. The bride's safe. It looks like all three of these guys have bit the dust and are out. Alright man, in that round we had a pretty significant amount of eliminations here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 eliminations in that round. We still have a lot of good participants here. Lots of talent right here. I did move them in groups of two right here. That way when I swipe it, they kind of stay congruent here. If you do two, if I did two long ways this way, it wouldn't be as fair I don't think. So I think this is a better way to do things. And I just set them up randomly. I grabbed the pile of safe, I put it over there, and we just swipe it, man. I just line them up as quickly as possible and hit that thing. I'm gonna be honest with you, I guess the coffin didn't really matter much, huh? Because I'm guaranteed this is probably the second to last swipe if I had to guess, but who knows, man? We're continuing on here. Continuing on with our swipes. Let's get the job done, man. Let's see if we can move one step forward to crowning our horror battle royal champion for the year of 2023, man. Let's go ahead and get in. I've got to get low right here, get a good swipe in here, and see if we can continue on towards our champion. Good God. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> okay. Oh Lord. Hey, this is hilarious. We gotta get to this one first, man. Pennywise is decapitated, man. I mean, that's gotta eliminate you, right? Look down here, man. His head hit the floor. His whole, whole his whole damn head came off. And the rest of his body is up here, just completely decapitated. Let's check the feet anyway. Instant replays going to the booth, Brad. And you guys can see, now this is where the, the pants cuff rule 
is in effect right here. I want you to look at this. His feet are off the ground, right? However, look at his pants cuffs. They're both touching at the bottom, preventing his feet from hitting the ground. He's out of there, man. I mean, you got decapitated and your head hit the floor. If any part of your body hits the floor, you're eliminated, man. Get the hell out of here. So Pennywise is gone. All right, let's continue on. I don't know if anybody else hit the floor. Okay, let's let the fiend hit the floor down here. Oh, shish, man. Look at this. Look at this. Let's get close here. I cannot tell if he's hitting the floor. Is he touching the floor, man? This would be completely unbelievable. I gotta get low in here. I had to adjust the tripod. I, I'm not seeing anything, man. He's literally on the poles right here. What we were talking about with Michael Myers. He is not touching the ground. Now, I can say without a doubt, he could have hit the ground and then popped back up, right? He could have hit the ground and then popped back up and landed right here. He might have fallen from the chair, hitting one pole, touched the ground, and then landed this way. But I cannot confirm or deny that. I don't know, right? So, I have to go with what I'm seeing right here. And it doesn't it look like this man is touching. So upon further review, Bray Wyatt, the fiend is safe. All right, Jason and Tiffany are in the chair, so they are safe. Nobody's landed in the coffin. Get the coffin thing out of there, man. Who even likes the coffin? All right, man, the rest of them aren't looking great, but we're gonna dive into it anyway. All right, Ultimate Miner's are literally gone. His feet are touching. The creep is touching. Both of these guys are gone. Loomis is gone. Crooked Man's gone. Victor Crowley gone. Candy Man gone. All right, over here, it looks like, okay, we may have some more controversy here. I think they're both in right here. Here. I think both of these are in because his feet are touching her garment, not touching the countertop, and her feet are off the ground. They're both safe, in my opinion. All right, man, I know this is a weird angle, but this is going to be our finale. We have five figures here. We have Sting, Jason Voorhees, Bride of Frankenstein, the Fiend Bray Wyatt, and Tiffany competing. Now, I did remove Bride of Frankenstein's gear, or like her, her like cloth loin thing, because it could interfere with the thing. I want the footage to be clear and everything like that. I am slow-mo videoing this. I have it captured here. This is going to be the finale. Now, if you hit the ground last, you win the thing. So it's not going to be who's two feet hit, none of that BS, man. It's whoever hits the ground last. So I don't know how it happens. If you land on somebody, you might could be spared for a second and then hit last later. It's absolutely a case, but whoever touches the ground last, or maybe somebody doesn't touch the ground at all, they are going to be the winner unless they, of course, hit and then pop back on top of somebody, but that would be a rare occasion. But what I'm going to do is just lift the ring on the other side, and it is going to plummet these figures to the ground, and we will crown our champion right here, man. Let's find out who's going to win. I'm, again, slow recording it. We're going to review the footage, make sure we have a winner, and dive into it, man. But let's shut the hell up and dive into our final swipe or our final finale slow-mo fall. All right, man. Here we go. I am gripping the ring right now. It's just going to be one full swoop. I won't know until I look at the footage. I'm going to hear the thud. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, man. That seemed legit. When I popped it up, it looked like all of them fell at the same time, hopefully. So let's review the footage. <laughs> All right, man, so looking at the footage, I want you guys to see this very slowly, and I don't want to give you my opinion. I'm going to show you the footage. Here is the footage right here. I'm going to give you the footage a few clips back. I'm going to show it in real time, and then I'm going to slow it way down for you and give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on who actually won this thing, and then we're going to showcase our champion. And it was a very close thing. It actually took me multiple times of watching the footage back to really actually grasp it, but I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you super slow-mo, and then I'll show you guys my explanation. All right, man, so what I'm seeing here, if you watch it back, it looks to me, if you look at this frame right here, look at this frame right here, there are a set of legs above the rest of everybody. You have Tiffany down here about to hit first, you have The Fiend, you have Sting, and then you can see the Bride of Frankenstein's legs in there, those white legs right there, you can see those, and then above that, you can still see Jason's legs continuing down right here, and if we slow it way down, I think when I slow it all the way down, I'll be able to see it better.
and I think it's pretty conclusive. So with those things being said, man, I think our champion this year for the MDT Horror Battle Royal is going to be none other than Jason Voorhees, multiple time champion, winning it again, man. What in the hell is in the water that this man just keeps walking out champion? Nobody can beat this fool? Like, nobody can challenge this guy? Man has 17 title reigns by now, man. It's Ric Flair and John Cena all over the damn place, man. Reign of Terror, literally. Can somebody stop this, man? My God. Loki kind of bums me out, but what do you do? What do you do, man? Let me know your thoughts on the Battle Royal down in the comment section below. I would have liked to have seen a different talent win that thing, but, I mean, the cookie crumbles that way, man. Jason Voorhees walks out with the MDT Battle Royal Championship for the horror icons, man. Unbelievable, man, but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video or tonight's video, kind of a tonight's special here on Saturday. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas over there. Always appreciate all of your continued support, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below who you're rooting for and whatnot, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Love you guys. Appreciate you so very much. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time.